good morning and win today, tomorrow and forevermore. My name is uh, Prophetess Cletus Zulu from Zimbabwe uh, at Full Gospel International Ministries, Bulawayo. I appreciate God for this privilege. Thank you so much. I want to share my experience uh, how I met um, Prophet Isaka. It was around 20, 2011 um, at uh, Road near Mpopoma in Blawayo, where I was coming from town. I saw this lady who was driving a black twin cap uh, with uh, a sticker of Prophet T.B. Joshua at the back. So we stopped the lady and asked uh, the lady, uh, where are you coming from and where do you, did you get this sticker? Uh, she said to me, I'm from South Africa, from Shekinah, Glorious Faith Ministries. I'm from Prophet Isaka, that's where I, I get this sticker. So what she did, uh, she gave me uh, the f address in South Africa and her phone number. Uh, all went well because uh, I dreamed meeting that lady before. So it was a confirmation to me when I met that lady. It happened uh, we prepare the journey with my husband. But finally, we need to go to South Africa uh, to meet uh, the prophet. So a week later, yes, we prepare the journey and we come to South Africa. We call the lady, me and my husband, Pastor Zulu. We found the lady and we say, now we are here in South Africa. So please, can you uh, take us there? He said, no, I'm not around, but I'm going to give you the direction. He gave us the direction. So we went there at uh, Moy Street, um, 2011. We went to Moy Street. There we were welcomed by uh, Pastor Simpiwe and other pastors which were there by that time. Uh, we shared our story. We are here. Uh, we want to meet the prophet, prophet, prophet Isaac. We are from Zimbabwe. We say, okay, no problem. But for now, Prophet is not here. We're going to meet, uh, to see him tomorrow. By the grace of God, patiently we waited for, for the Prophet. And the moment we saw the Prophet, uh, it was a confirmation to us. This is our father, which we were looking for. Uh, our pa our Prophet prayed for us and prophesied to us. And he spoke about the ministry. I saw the grace of God upon your life, both for you and your husband. Uh, the confirmation was, now it is the time, go and open the ministry. So that's where we start to prepare uh, the journey of going back to Zimbabwe and start opening the ministry according to the instruction of, our, our, of the man of God, our prophet Isaac. So we started it by a cell group which was called Ebenezer by then. So this Ebenezer, um, we inform our prophet that we started uh, the group at our resident house in Bulawayo. So it happened, uh, the, uh, the, the cell group was growing very fast uh, from f 25 members to 70 to 50. Uh, it comes to, we can't accommodate people now it, uh, inside the house, so we take uh, the, our, uh, the garage we could accommodate people in the garage, so we start looking for the places, the bigger place, according to the instruction 
of our prophet, we start going to a, a certain school that was called Sikulile Secondary School, where we take the library class there. You know, by the grace of God and by the direction of the men of God, hearing from above, you know, uh, the, the class was full. So we started again after uh, six months to look for an, a bigger place. We went to a certain school which called Emma Kanden Secondary School. And um, there at Emma Kandeni, four gospel international ministries was birthed from Ebenezer Prayer Group to full gospel. Yes, um, on 29 October 2013 now. So from Makandeni Secondary, the place was small again. So we look for another place. Uh, we go to a community hall, a, a Lopengula community hall, which is, was, which is under city council. So we, we start uh, uh, worshiping there. So by the grace of the Lord, so many things start happening, deliverance, you know, souls were served by the glory of God. By the grace of God, everything was going is going smooth until now. You know, the other thing which is happening, our uh, prophet has been standing with us since day one, praying for us, you know, giving us instruction, mentoring us as a spiritual father. And uh, this time, 2020, uh, for I was privileged to come to Shekina for the petlock service where we see the powerful uh, move of God uh, on unlocking the, our destinies. I was privileged to be a guest speaker there. Uh, this is where the Holy Spirit moved and I was given opportunity and grace to prophesy to people, to pray for them, to deliver and share the word. I really appreciate God for all. I appreciate my spiritual father. I appreciate the grace upon him. I appreciate the anointing. I'm so grateful. Uh, as a full gospel international ministries, we thank you, Papa, uh, for mentoring us, for fathering us. We say may the Lord keep you and may the Lord bless you more and more. Please, as you do it for us, continue to do it for others. I want to talk to you, my brother. I see accident. I see you rolling. Um, I see you rolling. Um, Evangelist Morris, can you help me? Um, in, there's this race, like people who race with the cars. Uh, do, any, do you know anything about it? No. Yes. Okay. No. Do you drive car? Yes. Okay. Something is supposed to happen this week, last week. Last week you I was... You were supposed to be dead. I was in a car accident. Sorry? Car accident. Yes. Confirmation is here, Mama. Confirmation is here. Yes, last week he had an accident. She bumped someone, and after that, somebody was coming from the back. He bumped his car, st car started rolling. I, I, I saw a, a, a car spinning while he, he's inside. That was spinning, but I saw the power of the Holy Spirit incubating you. I celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus in this place. Celebrate the Redeemer in this place. Weeks ago, my daughter-in-law sent me to go buy bread. She said, he, say he parked the car. Car start burning, just like that. And then uh, one of my niece, my nephew, was coming from work. He saw the car burning. 
run to the shop, take the thing, what's it called? A fire, yes, started to stop the fire. Two weeks ago, and then this week, Sunday, it is dead. Yeah, last week, Sunday. That was last week for you, so you're supposed to be dead by last week. But you are here, alive, in the land of the living. Amen. Celebrate Master Jesus. <laughs> Celebrate the God of Issachar. Celebrate him. No, he's a powerful God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can I pray for you? Spirit of living God, thank you, Lord, for preserving his life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I cancel the power of accident. By the blood of Jesus, you are covered. You are protected in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Command you death. Come out of it. Thank you, Jesus. Let's celebrate Master Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Celebrate him, celebrate him, celebrate him. What motivates me to follow that woman? I, I had a dream. Uh, in that dream, I saw a, a man of God from Squan, um, wise man Daniel. So I was having a problem with my kids. So they were not doing well at school. So it was like we are in the prayer line at, at, at Squan. Um, then the wise man Daniel said to me, no, you don't, uh, you, you don't need anything. You're going to meet a, a man of God that will help you and pray for you. He's from here, you know. So because I was watching manual TV, because I was um, wanting um, spiritual guidance, so when I saw that lady, you know, when I saw this, uh, the sticker, and when he, he, he told us that he is coming from um, Prophet Issachar, the son of Tibi Joshua, you know, the spiritual son of Tibi Joshua, that motivates me. So we said with my husband, you know, it's time for us to go and meet the man of God. This is what motivated me when we see the sticker and this lady. We were eager and wanting to meet the man of God. When we come to Shekinah, we didn't have the idea of the ministry. We didn't, we didn't know, we didn't know him. We never meet him anyway. We didn't know anything about him. When we come to Shekana, this is where the first time we met uh, him with my, my husband, Pastor Zulu. That's where he prophesied on us the, the second day we saw. You no, know, uh, uh, we were praying and prophesying. Pro prophesying, we were praying, but we didn't have that mind to, to open a church. So when we come to him, he confirmed it to us. You have a uh, gift, both, and your, both you and your husband. So this is the confirmation now that you must go and open a, a ministry. So we take it from there, from the man of God. Good morning and win today. 
My name is Pastor Kifti Zulu, Pastor Zulu. Uh, our journey from Zimbabwe wasn't easy. You know, sometimes when you are embarking on a spiritual journey, we, you need to pray because the devil will want to attack you. But I think when we prayed, we fasted and we prayed for many days. Then we came to South Africa where we are about 40. But then our journey was perfect well. I think uh, he experienced a mountain where the man of God, the prophet, uh, it was so powerful. I saw the hand of God working in that place. I think that is what I can say now. Amen. Amen. Good morning. My name is Pastor Tavani from Full Gospel International Ministries. I am a proud son of my prophetess, Prophetess Kledi Zulu, and my father, Senior Pastor G. Zulu. Uh, I would like to share my experience with Ishakaina Glorious Ministries. Uh, what I can say, I will start from the beginning. I would like to appreciate God that as we left Blawayo, we were not alone. God was with us up to this place. Uh, we didn't experience any problems along the way. The journey was so smooth. We know wherever we go, we, we are not going alone. God is with us in each and every step we are taking. Even now, if I'm being interviewed, I know I'm not standing alone. I'm in the presence of God. I want to appreciate that. Uh, turning now to the experience I, uh, 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 I saw at Shekinah, I would like to appreciate the entire team of Shekinah Glorious Ministries appreciating on behalf of FGIM. Uh, the hospitality was excellent, was excellent. We received a well warm welcome, a well warm welcome. We enjoyed a lot. We, it was our wish to always come and meet our prophet at Shakaina, Glorious Ministries, and indeed God made it happen. We had an experience to see the man of God on the altar. He taught us a lot of things. He taught us a lot of things uh, which we are supposed to work on so that we receive our blessings. So that we receive our blessings. We were told that most of the time we are the problems our own. We are the one who hinder our problems. So from the teaching of the prophet, we learned a lot as we go back to FGIM. We are going to work on ourselves so that we don't hinder our blessings. I want to extend my great appreciation to the entire team of Shekinah Glorious Ministries. Uh, even uh, during the service, we were treated well. We were given a warm welcome. And we learned a lot. Even the flow of the prayers, we learned a lot from that, of which, as the children of Shekinah Glorious Ministry, we are going to try to apply some of the things we learned from this side so that we move as the children of the same father of the same God. And uh, my experience at the mountain, I learned a lot. We prayed a lot. The prophet also continued to teach us a lot of things, to teach us a lot of things that we are supposed to consider God first before we consider everything. We seek the kingdom of God, and then all other things follow after that. I just, I don't have many words to say, but I just want to say thank you so much. To okay. 
Good morning, good morning. My name is Memo Rindanga. I'm from Zimbabwe. I just want to thank our God, our Father, the Holy Spirit, for the journey that we had from Zimbabwe to South Africa. I want to appreciate God. I want to appreciate his mercies. The journey was a smooth one. We arrived safely in South Africa. I'm so grateful of the welcome that we got here. The welcome from the Shekinah Glorious Ministries. The welcome from all the hosts. The welcome from our father, our father, Pastor Isaac. I'm just grateful. We arrived safely. We were taken care of. We were given accommodation. We were taken to guest houses. We were given food. Everything about us was being taken care of. I just want to thank the grace. We were so graced here. I just want to thank for the service that we had, a powerful Sunday service with our prophets. It was really a powerful and a sound one. We were blessed, we were delivered, we, we encountered greatness with the Lord. We are so grateful. We thank God for the love, for all the catering. Uh, we were just taken care of. We were kept. We were a kept people. We are a kept people. Thank you so much. It was a safe journey. We had a safe journey. And uh, I would love to appreciate the hospitality that we got from the Shekinah Glorious Ministries people. We were welcomed, everything. It just went smooth. Yeah, like you just see blessings all over everywhere. It was just, as for me, I, I, I learned a lot. And as of the service, I was opportuned to be on the stage. I was also opportune to shake hands with the man of God, our prophet, after such a long time. And also I was opportune to sing internationally, which is a testimony to me. I would love to appreciate the opportunity that I had to go to the mountain. Wow. It was a, a, I don't know how to explain the service, but it was a powerful service. I learned a lot. I was taught how to pray. I was taught uh, prayer points, more, you know, prayer points, dealing with the foundations, you know. We actually went deeper. Above all, I learned about a stone. As a Zimbabwean, I learned that I, I like our country is built on stones. So I am on top of money. I should attract money. Money should respect me. Standing here, you know, I'm a millionaire. Thank you. My name is Pastor Shatrek Ngobi. I'm from the a pastor in the Full Gospel International Ministries. Uh, we went to the mountain very early in the morning. It was quite a learning experience. The weather was chilly. Uh, we had to take off our shoes and walk on the holy ground. Well, it was my first time to walk on the holy ground. And then we were given teachings. After having prayed for a long time, the teachings we got there were super. They were really created in heaven. We learned quite a lot of things, and we also received our deliveries while still on the mountain. Yes, uh, we were also told what to do, how to pray, and how to treat other people there at the mountain. Uh, quite a number of us got some deliverances as we were on the mountain, as we experienced experience it. We really had a great joy and it was quite a learning experience. I would like to thank our prophet Isaka for the splendid job which he did to us, to our ministry, the way he welcomed us. I thank you. Good morning, Chess. I'm from pra I'm Prava Zula. I'm from FGIM. We came here on Saturday. 
we were visiting the church and on Sunday I experienced it a lot thing. So I learned a lot like operating computers and other things, controlling the live stream. Yo, it was a great experience to learn as a person because in Zimbabwe you don't have things like that that are here. So hey, I don't know what to say. I'm very happy. I wish I would come again soon or later. I'm Pastor Nomsa. I'm from Zimbabwe. I would like to thank God for the service of yesterday. It was so powerful. I saw the, whole, the Spirit of God moving. I received my blessings and all the strongholds were broken yesterday. I thank you. I had an opportunity to go to the mountain. There I met with my Lord Jesus Christ. I received all my blessings. I took uh, my blessing, my children's blessings, my family's blessings. I was so blessed. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Alice Chara. I would like to thank the Lord for what he has done to me today. At that mountain, I met God. I believe everything is over and I'm starting a new life. This is the time I was waiting for, and I thank God for that. Praise the Lord. Oh, it was so cold, but because of Christ, I made it. Thank you. I'm Lusingovi from Zimbabwe. Um, I come from Full Gospel International Ministries. Uh, I had an opportunity to visit the prayer mountain. I sacrificed my good sleep. The place was very cold. We asked to remove shoes and socks. Ah, it wasn't easy for us, but what I liked most was that the prayers given, they were very powerful prayers. And I be do believe that my family was redeemed from all the problems that we were facing. My children, possessions, I took them with me in every, I, I believe there's a drastic change in our family. In Jesus Christ's name, I, I thank you. Shalom, 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 blessings. Uh, we had a wonderful time in the presence of God when we were ministering. Uh, we really had a wonderful time. And uh, my name is Sepati. I'm from Zimbabwe. And early in the morning, we had an experience, a very great experience with the prophet at the mountain. God is still speaking and God is still doing wonders. We had an experience that is so amazing. Lives were changed in the name of Jesus. I say shalom. Good morning, shalom. I had a wonderful time in the mountain praying. Even though we had challenges with the cold, but it was all for a good cause. The very most important thing that I learned today is seeking the presence of God and sacrificing. That's my advice that I'll give to anyone out there. You have to sacrifice your life for Christ because the life that we're living is not ours. It's for him. Amen. By the way, I'm Tafazwa Kumbo, all the way from Zimbabwe, going to Tuziatunga in Bulawayo. Good morning. My name is Ndombizile Ngobe. I am from Full Gospel International Ministries. And I would like to share my experience at Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries. Uh, we arrived on Saturday morning. Uh, we, were, we were here for the padlock service. The padlock service was on Sunday. And I was really waiting to be part of the service. So on Sunday, I had the opportunity to go to the service where we were unlocking our destinies. It was a very powerful moment for me. It was a moment that changed my life because for so many years, I have been wishing to come to Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries to meet the other believers that are there, to meet the prophet as well, Prophet Isaac. And yesterday, I had the opportunity to, the opportunity to be there. 
to fellowship with other believers and to meet the prophet, also to receive my deliverance because as others were unlocking their destinies, I also got the opportunity to unlock my destiny. And that was not all because this morning, early in the morning, I had the opportunity again to go to the mountain. You know, I've been hearing about the mountain experience, so I've been wishing to be there too. And today I went to the mountain to pray. And w since we woke up early, it was very, 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 very freezing. You know, our feet were freezing. But we had to be strong. We had to be, we, we had to be strong and pray because for us to gain what we want. We, there is something that we need to sacrifice. They say no pain, no gain. So we really felt, we felt the pain of the cold. But I'm grateful because I know that spiritually there is something that I gained. It was freezing. Yes, my feet were freezing. But I gained a spiritual blessing that no one can take from me. It was a powerful moment. I, I experienced God in this place. And I believe that my life has changed spiritually. I experienced God in a way that I have never experienced before. And the prophet is a man that is full of wisdom. So from his words, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about who I am, who God is, and how I can strengthen my relationship with God. So I would like to thank Prophet Isaac for this opportunity. I thank the woman of God, Prophetess Gladys Zulu, my spiritual mother as well, who brought me to this place. And I thank Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries for the hospitality, the way that they received us, treated us, whilst we were here. I am really grateful for that. 